Hammersmith Bridge is broken, a bridge now only in name and one no one can use. This drone footage shows the Grade 2 listed structure. Here you can see how the surface has been worn away over the years by traffic. It's made of cast iron and tiny cracks in the structure could cause it to shatter. Its closure has meant huge inconvenience for those who live here. I understand it being historic and needing to, there's probably a lot of bureaucracy to follow in order to, uh, I get it, politics, but yes, it is shocking. It is affecting a lot of people in a negative way. The owners, Hammersmith Council and the government are working to reopen it, but it's not just this bridge that condition is getting worse. Just to give you an idea, elsewhere, seven of London's bridges are owned by Transport for London and all of them are showing varying degrees of deterioration. Four are going to need interventions within the next 10 years. One of them's already getting that intervention and works. That's Vauxhall Bridge. Having not only Hammersmith Bridge in this dire condition, but other bridges, Vauxhall Bridge has been closed, London Bridge has been closed. There was the incident when one of the bascules, as they're called, on Tower Bridge got stuck up. Sort of, you can see this as a sort of metaphor. Hammersmith Bridge is a metaphor for Britain in its current predicament. Now, I don't think the UK government sees it like that, but it's easy for those outside the UK to see it as a metaphor for the troubles in British government as we speak. TfL says all its bridges are safe and have regular inspections to keep them open to traffic. But the ownership of London's bridges is not straightforward. London's bridges are owned by different authorities. London Boroughs, Transport for London and the Bridge House Estates, a charitable trust that was set up by the City of London in 1282. And even 20 years ago, there were calls for a strategic authority to oversee all the bridges. Nothing happened. It means work on bridges sometimes isn't coordinated. You could have complete gridlock if different boroughs and different authorities choose to do works at the same time. And given we have got to spend, I think, hundreds of millions of pounds for the river crossings and the tunnels in London to keep them maintained and open, it's really important that boroughs, TfL and government start working together on this. And experts say London's bridges will need more maintenance and perhaps need more closures. There's more traffic than we've ever had on the roads effectively, so we've got a lot more loading on our structures than, we, than they would have been perhaps initially designed to withstand. We also have a lot of bridges that have exceeded the original design life, which means that they're at a stage that they weren't expected to still be fully operational at this stage. And we also have then the third element then is climate change, which is putting increased stress on this infrastructure by more rainfall, flood water, um, thermal cracking from heat waves, all of this kind of thing. This perfect storm is what we now face. It's not clear when or how Hammersmith will reopen. Cities are partly defined by their bridges. There are those that think London's jewels are now its disgrace. Tom Edwards, BBC London.